morning, legends. It is Tuesday morning at 8.30. I'm just making my way downstairs to make some breakfast. I'm off to the gym at, I've uh, got a session at 10 with Vogzi and Edo. So I've got to make sure I eat before that. It's um, obviously really important to eat and hydrate before training, before exercising. I'm just walking to the dark, turning some lights on. So I've got to get my eating done and allow some time for it to digest so that I don't get any stomach pains while I'm exercising. Always get nervous before these sessions. They're never easy, never fun in the moment, but always worth it afterwards. Um, been up since six, just getting some bits and pieces done, a little bit of admin. Um, and then after the gym, I'm off to um, have a hit with young Teague, whose birthday it is today. And he said to his parents, he wants to Go on the pro batter, which is at Southern Cricket here in Perth, um, for a couple of hours with me. So, yeah, that should be lots of fun. I'm going to get my kid out. Um, I wouldn't normally be hitting at this time of the year, but I'm also going to be hitting when I'm in India. I'm going to take my kid over and, and do some practice over there. So, I'm um, looking forward to having a hit with him today. Hey, vlog. It has been an action-packed morning. I'm just in the car about to go into a place called Striker, which is where the pro batter is, which I'll show you what that's like. Um, it's an imaginary um, bowler running in, then you face that. Um, with young Teague, who's 14th birthday today. You guys, if you've been watching for a while, you'd know who Teague is. Teague Wiley, very good young player, fifteen um, WA 15, under 15 representative. Went to the gym with Vogsy, had a really tough session. We did upper body, we did weights, and oh, absolutely hurt, as it always does. The hour of death. Then I went and had um, a quick lunch. I needed to get some protein in. Need to refuel after my gym session, so I went and had some Japanese for lunch and a coffee with um, Risey, my best mate, uh, our spin bowling mentor, brilliant leg spin bowler. So caught up with him. We chatted about running some programs with batters and spinners throughout the winter here in Perth. So really um, hoping to get that up and running later in the winter. Um, get the group of batters that I work with facing group of spinners that he works with and chatting as we go and, and making plans and, and working things out so that rather than me bowling or throwing at them they can actually face good quality spinners so that was good and then yeah now about to um, have a hit I'm going to take my kit and hit a few balls with Teague as well get some footage um, and have some fun Teague against the pro batter 132k an hour oh, don't bowl there shot boy we got Simon Macken has been recorded. That's him running in his action. It's coming out at 132 k's an hour. Teague, on his 14th birthday, is making it look easy. Cracking machine, this. We set it on the screen and then it goes through to the camera set the speed set the bowler set the length everything epic machine the 14 year old on his birthday getting it done How'd you hit him, son? All right. Bit too full to drive. Bit too short to drive. Doing it easy. 132. We'll be getting it up over 140 shortly. That was only your third round. It's now 135 k's an hour, which is 84 mile an hour. The young bloke's making it look easy. We wait for the machine. One thing is you do know what length it's going to be. It's not like actually facing a bowler, so you've got a bit of a head start. Still brilliant practice though. That sound coming through on the, so on the screen, the little bars, yeah.
good, uh, good pace this. I'm trying to focus, trying to keep my head still. Hands starting by my back hip, nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. More shape there, more shape. Good commentary, George. It's all right, that felt that one. That one felt all right. Head still, watch the ball. Watching the hole where it's coming from, watching the hole. Oop, oh, weight was back there. Oop, that one came in. It's well bowled. Bowling a good spell here. Not bad, better than the 150s actually. I hit, hit them a little bit better. Good fun, good fun. It's a good challenge that, wasn't it? Probably didn't hit them quite as well as you, but plinked a few here and there. Happy with that. I'm currently on the golf course, sun's in my eyes, so I've got my hat looking a bit silly at the moment. I'm on the fifth hole. I'm not a very good golfer at all, I just don't play very often. But it's good fun when you hit them well. I'm playing with my brother, so nice to spend some time with him. Started well, one over on a par three, then I um, parred a par four, then I was one over on the next one, and it's all gone to shit. Like fourth hole, I was four over. But nice to be out and about. Job week. Reasonably straight. There's the hole right up there. Gee, golf is a tough sport. Hacking my way around here at the moment. Cracking day. Hey vlog, it is just after 10 p.m. so nearly bedtime. Cracking day today, um, great to spend some time with Teague. Gee, he was phenomenal on the um, pro batter, as you will have seen. We're gonna be releasing a video about him facing 160 kilometers, 100 mile an hour, which was just amazing to see. I tried 150 myself, it was, uh, it was good fun. I haven't had a hit for a while, so it was interesting, but Gee, Teague's going to be a great player in the future. He already is a very good player, but someone to look out for, so it was good fun and then, and then great to get on the golf course this afternoon with my brother. Um, I love, I do enjoy golf. It's very frustrating, um, but it's a nice feeling when you hit it straight down the middle or you, or you chip one. So something I'll be doing a lot more of in the future. Um, it's something that a lot of cricketers go on to once they retire because it's that sort of competitive um, nature that we all have within us that you can still do uh, uh, right until you're, you're a lot older. So cracking day, good to uh, good to do the gym this morning, get that done nice and early. Um, I'm feeling quite sore already. And then I've just spent the last um, three hours or so, got home, cooked some 
dinner. I had sausages and mash, um, sausages on the barbie for dinner, which was nice. Now uh, I've just been spending the last few hours um, replying to emails, talking to people, trying to line up some stuff for when I'm in, in India and also in the UK. Um, I'll be in the UK in July, so talking to people about some sessions and some, some talks and some things going on there. So um, really good to, to look forward to that. Um, and yeah, trying to work through a load of emails, um, trying to get through other bits and pieces of admin that, that are never ending. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you're getting it done wherever you are. Um, and please like and comment below. Let me know where you're coming from. Let me know what you want to see in the vlogs. As I've said, it's a quiet time at the moment, but coaching is about to start up again. So going to be vlogging a little bit more now and off to India next weekend. So super pumped for that. And then on to Melbourne. So plenty of content to come and look forward to speaking to you guys soon.